All right, so uh, Lorenz, what was your reaction when you got the call uh, to fill in for Dong Young Kim against Neil Magny? Um, I was excited, you know, and um, I think I was eating something pretty bad. So, <laughs> I don't know, I was excited, though. You know, I'm always in the gym after the fight, you know. I don't take a big layoff after my fight, so, you know, I was already halfway in shape. So, you know, I was I was in fight-ready shape, you know, but a quick mock-up camp, you know, some that just could have fixed it right away, you know, and, and that's what it was, you know. And now I'm coming into the fight week feeling like I just got done with a full camp, you know, so I feel great. you have to toss that food you're eating aside or did you finish it? No, 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 I finished it. I was like, they called me last minute. I'm going to finish what I'm doing, but after that, then it will I had to go on my diet. And how exciting for you is it that, you know, Neil's a, a ranked guy. He's one of the most active fighters on the roster. Uh, is this just the opportunity you're kind of looking for because it puts you up there in this, you know, upper echelon of the division with a win? Yeah, you know, th these are the opportunities that, that when it comes around, you can't really say no to. You know what I mean? It's an opportunity that I'm not even ranked, you know, and uh, for me to go against a ranked guy and, and, and break into the top 10, you know, that's a big opportunity that and I, I, I feel like nobody would pass up, you know, and I sure in the hell wasn't going to let it pass up. And when you look at this matchup, I think a lot of people say, you know, your speed is probably going to be the difference maker. Is that how you feel about it? You know, if the fight goes your way, that's going to be a, a huge X factor in your favor? Um, I don't know. I always just find out the night of the fight, you know what I mean? I could always wish and hope for something to happen, you know, but sometimes it doesn't happen on fight night. So, you know, I'm, I'm just anxious to see what, what it is, you know, what's going to be the determining factor to something I stick with and, and, and that's going to win me the fight. And when you look at uh, Neil, of course, a lot of people talk about his durability. I think, you know, that first round of the Hector Lombard fight might have been a 10-7 and he comes back and, you know, gets the win. How do you take that into account knowing that you hurt this guy, you don't want to expend all your energy trying to finish him, but of course you want to put him away. So, like, where do you find the balance when you're actually in the fight and if that situation comes about? Well, you just got to know your gas tank, you know, and, and you got to be calculated with how you finish a guy, you know, and um, and it's a lot of different things, you know, it's, it's, it's how the ref is approaching you guys, you know, when the guy's hurt. So, you know, it's a lot of things, but it's just be calm and collective this fight. You know, that's, that's, that if any, if that's the saying of this fight, that's what it is, you know, calm and collective and, and, and be, and, 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 and be pre uh, precise in anything I do in that, in, in, on Saturday. Last thing, uh, tell us about the haircut for this fight. What what do we got going on here? What's uh, how did it come about? What, what's going on? It's always the same thing, you know. It's uh, I'm from Riverside, California, so I always get the rain cross bell, you know, uh, edged in my hair. So you know, it's just show the my city some you know some pride and, and put us more on the map than we already are. And just uh, two other quick things. Uh, next week, a big welterweight fight in the main event of the Fox card. Damian Maia fighting Carlos Condit. How do you see that one playing out, and who wins? I don't know, man. That's uh, that's a hard one. I, I don't. I couldn't even say who's gonna win. I just. That's a fight that when they got announced, I was really excited to watch. It's supposed to be on this card too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they probably bumped them out because me and Magni got. The, the feature bout on Fight Pass, so they're like, you know what? There's too much juice on the Fight Pass. We're going to have to put you guys on a whole other card. You guys are going to have to wait. So that's probably how it played out. I know you spoke a little bit about your position on that card. Are you over it at this point since it's so close to the fight, or do you still feel like you're not getting the push you should? Uh, like I said, to, I said a couple times, I'll see on Friday. I'll see tomorrow, and I'll really... What do you mean by that? I'll, I'll assess all the, the marketing that's been happening from the fight, you know, because it, we were originally slotted for, I think, the second fight on pay-per-view, and um, the viewership number is would have been crazy, you know what I mean? So, if we're on Fight Pass and we get marketed the right way, then it makes sense, you know, because a lot of things, I always look at it from a fighter's aspect, and I look at things from a business aspect, too, you know, because you just can't be one-sided, you know, all the time, and... Um, you know, if we're getting the push behind us, because it's not just for me, it's from it's from Neil too, you know. It's not like I'm like, oh, I just want all this stuff. You know, it's for both of us. 
So if, if they're pushing us and they're marketing us on Fight Pass, then it makes sense. Because we wouldn't have got that if we were the first or second fight on, on uh, pay-per-view. So, you know, I, I'll take marketing over viewership anytime. Has Eric Winter spoken to you at all? Because I know there's been other fighters in your position that have spoke out about it, and he's like called them personally and kind of told them their approach with Fight Pass, all that kind of stuff. Have you had a conversation with anyone at the UFC about this? Yeah, I, ha I had a talk, and um, that's what you know. I was, I was told that you know that there's going to be a lot of marketing behind this fight. So you know, I'm just going to assess everything, I guess, tomorrow, and 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 really go about if if my if my my beliefs, you know, are going to be changed or, you know, or I'm just going to stick with what I've been saying.